I am so excited, you guys. It works. I'm telling you, this works. I'm so excited. Let's look at these guys. Hello, today is day three of our hot chicken stew. So what I cleaned out from the refrigerator today is some macaroni and cheese, some pork, and a little bit of leftover spaghetti with sprinkle cheese on it. So I am going to put some water in our pot and then get it to a boil. We added some water to our hot chicken stew. I am gonna bring it up to a boil and then down to a simmer. And you know the drill, let's add some of that stuff. Chili powder. Crushed chili peppers, little oregano, and some garlic powder. And a little bit of this, just for good measure. Make sure that we're making it hot enough. Day three. Chicken stew, let's get it filled up. It is cold and rainy out, so I think that they're really, really gonna enjoy this. See it? I don't know if you can see it. It smells so good, you guys. <laughs> it's for chickens, it's so gross. Chicken stew, hot chicken soup, whatever you want to call it, it's time. I think today is day, I don't know what day it is. It's been a crazy week. But we are heating up the water. It's got some leftover spaghetti in it. Oregano. Um, and some water and some hot sauce, some ginger and everything else that we just put in there. So let's take this out to the girls and see if I've got any eggs yet. I don't know where your bowl went. I don't know what today is, but hot stew, chicken stew. Let's just start adding stuff. Turn on the stove. Chop meat. I done it yesterday. Pan. Why not? They're carnivores. They're a little bit lost in after. Pan. Some brie. It's been sitting in there. They love cheese. Some cilantro, why not? Go eat it. Let's add a little bit of water to this. Added some water. Put it back on the stove. Let's see what else we can add. I really don't know what today is. Maybe six, maybe seven. All I know is I really want some eggs. Let's clean out the freezer. Toaster strudel. Don't know how long that's been there. Tortellini. Parker said he never wants to eat these again. He said they were gross. Waffles. They look bread. Cinnamon waffles with that. I'm not quite sure what these are. Oh, they're little corn dodgers. Yeah, the corn, the bread corn. That's Preston's like blood and dove breast. I don't even, I don't even know. French toast sticks. Sausage biscuit with eggs. And then a little bit of I added more water to help absorb all the bread. Now it's time for the hot sauce. Maybe I'll, I'll absorb in that bread for them. 
Smells good. The hot sauce that is. That's a concoction that only a chicken could love. It looks disgusting. It's kind of scary with a hot pot. I mean, like it's cooled down enough for them to eat it, but I still gotta get it out to them and not spill it. In today's pot, I'm cleaning out the freezer. It smells like apples and cinnamons with hot sauce. I'm actually going to pour that into here because this is a little taller and I think it holds more. Oh, yes, much better for me. Let's go bring this to the girls. Yes, see if you have any eggs. Yes, there's a rooster in here. He will not get out, I can't catch him, but he has access to water and food. I just don't like that he's pooping all over. Hi guys, this is not for you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, you're coming my foot. Hold on everybody, hold on everybody. Oh my gosh, it's a madhouse around here. It's not for you. Come on guys. Come on, guys. Okay. This is just not going to work very well. They're already getting pushy. Yay! I made it. I made it. I made it. Come on, guys. Okay. And I'll leave this here in case you want to eat out of it. You want that? You can have it. Today is a day that there should be eggs. What are you doing, silly? Hi. What are you doing, silly? So Bambi is going to help us check for eggs. Okay. Let's look. Let's look. Nothing. Nothing. No eggs. No eggs. No eggs. No eggs. Day seven. It's generally always day five through seven. So we'll just keep going. Let's get out of here. This is for chickens, not for goats. Yeah. Woo! What do you think? Huh? What do you think? What do you think? You think we should have some eggs by now? Isn't she cute? She's a little mommy baby. Oh, your eye is goopy. We need to get some medicine in there. Yep. Well, we will try again tomorrow with some chicken stew or certainly definitely hot sauce. Um, if you're following me on this journey, I'm at day seven and no eggs. Tell me what you have. If you haven't already, just comment below and let me know if you've gotten any eggs yet because it's gonna work. I mean, like, I know it works. I do it every single year. I have for the past four or five years. Hey, what you doing? <laughs> um, all right, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> check once again and see if we have any eggs. Back up. Back up. So I've been a little lazy. Today's day nine. So some of the days I wasn't able to like get out here and give them chicken stew because the kids are sick and I almost gave up. So then I just started just putting this on top of their dry food with a little bit of warm water on the days I couldn't do chicken stew. But 
Anyways, that's what's worked for me in the past. So let's check for some eggs. How can I check for things when you're so cute? Is your head stuck? What are you doing, sunshine? What you doing? Let me help you. Put your head out, silly. <gasps> we have an egg! We have an egg! We have an egg! Yay! We have an egg! We have an egg! We have an egg! It's a good size egg too! I'm so excited that it works! I told you it works! It didn't work in five to seven days, but it worked. Let's keep looking. And just some poops. Okay, we have an egg. We have one egg. I am so excited, you guys. It works. I'm telling you, this works. I'm so excited. Let's look at these guys. This is through their window. They're out there eating their chicken stew because it works. Because it works. Hi, guys. I'm very proud of you. Steve, you didn't do anything, but I'm proud of you too. Bambi Hope is excited that we got an egg. Are you excited? Are you excited? Guys, I'm telling you, it works every year. I've been a slacker, like I was saying, because the kids are sick, and then there was lots of cold, nasty days where I was just bringing them some warm water on their feed with some, hi, with some hot sauce. But like I said, I just make them chicken stew, and it's whatever I've got in the kitchen. Egg. It's a brown egg. It's so windy out here, you guys. Okay, well that concludes my little challenge for myself that I do every single year. I'm gonna continue doing the hot sauce for um, as long as I can. I'll just use the rest of that bottle and see how it goes. Hi. And see how it goes. And uh, I mean, they've already got a little jump start. At least one does. So I'll keep using that. It'll probably be another week or so that I'll keep using it. But I'll check in time to time and we can start checking the coop and looking for eggs now that they started producing. Hi, baby. Um, since they started producing again. Yay! So I'm going to um, let that sit in there. Go get it here in a little bit. We'll get some more eggs. And once we get a good amount, then I'll start incubating them for the spring. And then we will be in full production and full swing of things, won't we? Yes, we will. Isn't she cute, you guys? Well, thank you so much for joining us on this little challenge and my little adventure that I um, came up with this regime. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and hit the little dingle bell so you're alerted every single time we upload a new video. And thank you so much. I can't wave and say goodbye and kiss the camera today, but Bambi will say goodbye. Say goodbye. Say bye-bye. Gosh, she's so cute. Bye, have a good day.